Shalom. We're continuing to read and learn Psalm 27, Mizmor Kaf Zion, continuing in verse 3. Im tachane alai machane. Im is a small word that means if. The Tav prefix is a future tense prefix. It can be for you or it can be for she. In this case, it is for she. We'll see the noun is feminine. This verb root means to encamp. Al is a preposition. Prepositions are tricky for translation. In this case, we will say against. The yud suffix means me. The mem prefix is a noun prefix. You see the same root in the verb and in the noun. Tachane, she will encamp. Machane is the camp. Though an army encampment may encamp about me. Im tachane alai machane. Lo yira libi. Lo is a small word which is a negative particle. The yud prefix is a future tense prefix for he will. Yira is a verb root that means to be in fear but also to be in awe. Lev is a word that means heart. The yud suffix means mine. My heart will not fear. Lo yira libi. Im takum alai milchama. Im means if. Tav is the future tense for she will do something. The root kum means to get up or to raise up. You might be familiar with it from Yeshua raising the little girl from the dead. He says, Talitha kumi, get up. Al is a preposition against. The yud suffix is me. The mem prefix is a noun prefix. The root of this verb you can recognize, lechem, means bread. It has a female suffix that's indicated by the hay. But together, milchama as a word means war. What is the connection between bread and war? In terms of struggling for existence, in terms of needing land to grow food, if warfare rises against me. Im takum alai milchama. Vizot ani boteach. Ba is a preposition that can mean in. Zot is the feminine form of this. Ani is the personal pronoun I. Boteach is a verb that means to trust, to be secure in. In this, I am sure. Bizot ani voteach. Remember to pronounce the patach a before the chet. Voteach. Im tachane alai machane lo yira libi. Im takum alai milchema bezot ani voteach. Achat sha'alti me'et Yehovah. Achat is the feminine form of the number one. This verb root means to ask. This suffix means past tense, I did something. This mem prefix is a preposition that means from. The aleph tav is the direct object marker. yud is the name of our God. One thing have I asked of the Lord. Achat sha'alti me'et Yehovah.
Ota Avakesh. This is the form of the Aleph Tav when it is attached to a personal pronoun. The He, particularly when it has a dogish in it, is going to be something about her. The Aleph prefix is the future tense, I will do something. This root is to make a request. Perhaps you are familiar with the word in Hebrew for please, bevakasha, comes from this root. That will I ask for, that will I request. Ota avakesh. Shifti bevet Yehovah. This root means to sit or dwell. This suffix means me. The prefix bet means in. This word bet, by it, you know, means house and the name of the Lord. My dwelling in the house of Yehovah. Shifti bevet Yehovah. Kol yime chayai. This is a phrase we had in Psalm 23. Kol is a small word that means all. The singular of day is yom, the plural is yamim. This is the construct form. The yud at the end is construct, days of. The full form for the word for life is chayim. This is in the possessive form. The final yud means my. All the days of my life. Call ye me chayai. Lachazot benoam Yehovah. The Laman means two, and in this case, this is an infinitive. The root for this verb, chaze means to gaze upon, but is a preposition. It's the preposition that goes with lechazot. Noam is beauty or pleasantness. You know this from the name of Naami Naomi. Yudhevav He is the name of our God. To gaze on the beauty of Yehovah. Lachazot benoam Yehovah. Ulvaker behechalo. This vav is a prefix that means and carries the u form because the next thing under the lamet is a shva. The lamet is the infinitive form to do something. This verb means to inquire. The bet is a preposition in. Hechal can mean a palace or particularly the palace of the king and it's translated as temple. The vav suffix means his and to inquire at his temple. Ulevaker behechalo. Achat sha'alti me'et Yehovah ota avakesh. Shifti bevet Yehovah kol yimei chayai. Lachazot benoam Yehovah, ulevaker behechalo.